The dawn of June the 6th comes up like thunder over the invasion coast as Allied heavy and medium bombers, following in the wake of Bomber Command, send down their share of the 20,000 tons of bombs dropped in the 24 hours preceding the landings. The softening up of the German defences along a broad stretch of coast. It was one of the most daring operations ever planned. It began with parachute and glider landings under cover of darkness and massive attacks from the air. And then bombardment from the seas. An armada of over 4,000 Allied vessels sailed towards the occupied Normandy coast. This is it. They're on the beach. The deception of where the invasion would come had worked. And 60,000 British troops stormed the beaches on this vital day exactly 70 years ago. An amphibious assault in which newsreels at the time played down the casualties and the number of dead. With characteristic brilliance, the Navy keeps up its cross-channel service. In all, 130,000 troops, British, Americans, Canadian, the Free French and others took part, landing on five beaches, codenamed Juno, Gold, Omaha, Utah and Sword. Around 4,400 Allied troops, airmen and sailors, died that day, 1,500 of them British. But the operation turned the tide of the war and marked the beginning of the end for Adolf Hitler's forces. Back on the home front, the wartime Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, gave his V for victory sign. The news of the Allies' success celebrated across Britain as it filtered through. Though many more Allied lives were to be lost, the battle for Normandy was successfully begun. Round one of the invasion is one on points. Caroline Moat, BBC News.